Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry to drag you from your delicious desserts. Uh, there are just one or two little things I feel I should say as best man. This is only the, the second time I've ever, I've ever been a best man. I, I hope I did the job all right that time. The couple in question are at least still talking to me. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, they're, they're not actually um, talking to each other. The, the, the divorce came through a couple of months ago. <laughs> but uh, I'm assured it had absolutely nothing to do with me. Apparently, Paula knew that Piers had slept with her younger sister before I mentioned it in the speech. <laughs> the, the fact that he slept with her mother came as a surprise, but um, I think was incidental to the nightmare of recrimination and um, violence that became their two-day marriage. Anyway, enough of that. Um, my job today is to talk about Angus, and uh, there are no skeletons in his cupboard. Or so I thought. <laughs> I'll come on to that in a minute. I, I would just like to say this. Um, I am, as ever, in uh, bewildered awe of, of anyone who makes this kind of commitment that Angus and Laura have made today. I know I couldn't do it, and uh, I think it's wonderful they can. So anyway, back to, back to Angus and those sheep. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, if you'd um, raise your glasses, um, the adorable couple. The adorable couple.
The nation, the nation sends its love and compassion. God bless America! Everybody who is here. Thank you for your hard work. Thank you for making the nation proud. And may God bless America.